Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can get the source code of a website uh, using C Sharp um, using a method known as uh, HTTP web request and HTTP web response. So I just went ahead and made this form. Um, going to have a button that just says get source code and going to create a text box where we're going to be entering in the uh, URL of the web page we want to get the source code for. And this is just an example of uh, how you can do this. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is first let's go ahead and get the uh, string of the text box. Alright, and now we have to um, add a new using uh, using system.net. This will uh, make sure that our uh, web request and web response actually work. So we do HTTP web request and we'll name it request. and then we have to cast it and casting is basically just a way to convert things uh, what you do is you just put the uh, thing you want to cast to in parentheses so we'll put uh, HTTP web request in parentheses and then we do web request dot create because we want to create a web request and the uh, URI string is just the URL so we're just going to put URL in here and then we have to get a response. So we'll do HTTP web response. Response equals, again, we have to cast it to HTTP web response. And then we have to do request dot get request, get response. And now, um, Let's go ahead and do a stream reader. And we actually have to add a using system.io. This is just so that we can read um, the stream that we get. Close new stream reader response get response stream. and then uh, let's go ahead and put the source code in a big old text box or something uh, I just use a rich text box I rarely ever use these so we'll just do rich text box one dot text equals sr dot read to end because we want to get the entire source code and don't forget to close your stream reader all right, let's go ahead and put a breakpoint in here so we can step through this. And here's our hmm. um, let's do Google. Click the get source code. And you see that the URL, Google, we do a request on it, then a response stream reader and then we read it to the end go ahead and close that and now we see this is the source code of uh, Google and you can do this for any URL and it's a great way um, if you're like making something such as a download manager or like a, I use it in my YouTube downloader to get the source code to uh, find the download links um, and this is just a basic way to get the source code of a web page. Um, if you'd like to learn any more tutorials on C Sharp Visual Studio 2008, uh, leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe to my videos and also head by my website and forms, which is in my description. Uh, this is Quackware signing out.